Hello everyone. So I'm um, in today's video. I'm going to talk about a very important topic. It's related to candy, the supportive magical hero. Now we all seen recently that this hero got huge buff and um, somehow the hero got powerful in a scary way like every single player in top 50 not every single player but at least like 90 percent of the 50 are using her in their defense and their attack and if you are not having this hero you will be forced to upgrade and use her because you are worried that someone else can crack your team using candy so as example here even though i don't like her she's in the defense here four stars or four and a half stars but she's he's using her in his defense because he can be defeated by her if he is not using her to encounter the the offensive candy which will attack him he will fall or or he will lose his rank so makes no sense the hero got powerful in a scary way even here candy in defense candy in defense candy candy <laughs> so um she got powerful in a crazy way that um, everyone need to use her. So um, this topic will be about how to crack candy, how to defeat and encounter the crazy ability of candy shield and healing and damage. Basically, the key hero to encounter candy is Pandorus. If we will be practically talking about the skills effect, Pandarus is the best hero to encounter Candy because if you read his skills text, this first skill, um, it's a damaging skill, this ultimate. Second skill, I will skip the, the damage part, go to the last part, removing shield and mitigating healing. That's first skill of disabling shield. Second one of disabling shield, um, enemies standing on the liquid will lose damage absorbing shield effect and receiving less healing second skill against shield third one um it's a damaging skill the healing screen and that's a big deal you know if you have any idea how pandarus um, fight um during the battle after awakening he have like this green heart this green heart is called like the healing screen so what happened is when that hero which have a healing screen receive a healing effect all right that effect will be absorbed by pandarus so the healing effect and the shield effect which is received by your opponent will be useless and that is the key to encounter candy if you want to defeat candy teams anyway because um she kind of got very powerful in a, in, a, in a silly way honestly like um, um what is that simple hero that everyone need to use suddenly out of nowhere? It makes no sense, right? So the key to that is Pandorus. Now, the genius player who started using Pandorus and Candy, honestly, since a long time, it's one of my friends. Okay, he started using her since a long time. And right now I'm going to show you some reports about how can he use very weak teams with Pandorus to encounter Candy. And let's watch this battle it will be pandarus um with ingrid syntax russell and you see they don't have good beast soul they are not even with four dots prayer and they are against a fully enhanced team with candy and um like three legends candy and author now check the effect of the healing screen the awakening skill of pandarus against candy how can he encounter her and um, somehow he worked well honestly um, so I think like um, every player I'm not asking you like to get candy and pandas both of them and work on them and maximize everything which is related to them no 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 but the two heroes are free heroes and they are not bad. They are available in the Brawl Shop. So I will, I will not ask you like to maximize them. But at least, at least, get them 5 stars. Awaken them. Make them as a backup for you. Like, 
all the players, I, I, I always see players complaining like, no hero is performing well, but legendary is. All right, now there are two um, good performing heroes available in the Brawl Shop. So I will not ask you like to make them 100% talent and for those players and so on. No, but at least enhance them that you can make them handy. Watch the battle. Pandora's got rid of candy. Literally got rid of candy and her shields and so on. And um, he now will kill all of it. But anyway, the point is like, I think everyone must get those heroes five stars. Or even several stars, it's not hard. And awaken them, keep them as a backup for you. Some someday you might need to raise new heroes for your third team. I'm not I'm not talking even about high spending players, I'm talking about like non spending players, free players, or even average spending players. Those heroes would be helpful for you. If you want to make a third team with free heroes, it will not be hard for you. Now check the damage um Dealt, Pandarus dealt at hundred thousand. Candy also is the is the basic damager in the opponent team. But look at the powers: five hundred twenty six thousand against six hundred forty five thousand. Power difference, which is almost one hundred twenty thousand. All right. It's it's it it mean like it shows that how Pandarus can encounter Candy easily. Um, the healing received, Pyre against Candy. The damage dealt, uh, sorry, the damage received. Candy is the basic da or the most um, uh, damage receiver in the, op in the opponent team, but still, um, who encountered her? Pandarus. And compare their powers. Pandarus actually is stronger than Candy because Pandarus is a hybrid hero and he got four room core working against uh, kind of like evolved candy but still he encountered candy and area of a team let's check another battle and this time it will be kind of um, where is it different it will be against um, candy with uh, a physical team if you observe both of them are using candy and pandarus but the player with Pandarus, okay, because he have Pandarus, he will take advantage in this battle because um, Pandarus encounter Candy. Look at the effect of the healing screen. Somehow it's very nice to encounter them. When you want to build a third team around um, free heroes, don't hesitate to try evolving the heroes which are available and free in these shops. Of course, um, don't go for useless heroes, but you know, when you see a hero which bomb suddenly like Candy or Pandarus, don't hesitate to raise them. It will be very helpful for you. And um, even honestly, even if you are a high spending player, like at Lord level or VIP 15 and so on, getting this hero will be helpful for you. Um, not because, um, like, not because those heroes are working right now, but you know, they are kind of defeating the legendary heroes right now. So, let's say it would be a successful shot for you. The battle result is very close. The power difference is kind of also very close. Um, both of them are using candy and panders, but um, um, black steel, like my friend, have panders with two dots. But still, like um, both of them have very nice team, honestly. Brunhilde is a basic damager in the battle, but still, Pandor is a stronger Pandor win, actually. The healing received candy, candy. Both the candies are doing well. Here, Nezha is the basic damage uh, damage receiver, and the other team, Candy. So, still, Pandorus can encounter the healing heroes. Now, um, let's go for this last battle. And this time, it will not be against Candy. This time, it will be Candy and Pandorus combo against a pure physical team. How it goes. Lucifer, um, Grid, look, Sue, like, this is... Um, pure um, 
physical power. Now watch how it go. He basically encounter all of them because of Uther Sheet. Uther kind of put Sheet against, uh, sorry, for all his teammates. So the healing screen work against all of them. That's kind of problem. But Pandorus deal with them. So um, the result is kind of known. Like, okay, we'll win. He's using Brunhilde the damager actually, that's an advantage point for him. But still, like, even if you don't have Brunhilde and Niza, you can use someone in the place of Niza, maybe Gerber or anyone, and you can use any damager instead of Brunhilde, any free damager. I mean, if you are like non spending player, or even an average spending player, and you have like Vortex, you have Medea, you have um, Karna, you have any free hero who is a damage dealer, he can replace Brunhilde and he will do well still. Don't worry. Now the battle is done because um, only Uther and Gerdlok are alive. And it's kind of fast battle. Consider it as a fast battle. Only Uther is alive now. And it's done. Now let's check the damage um, dealt. Bandors and Candy are the basic damager. They deal the damage more than Brunhilde, the legendary hero. So, kind of very nice. Healing received Ingrid and Candy. Ingrid received more than Candy. Damage received um, Candy is a basic damage receiver because of her shields. Now, um, that's all. So, basically, the question of this video was. Who can encounter Candy? And the answer is um, Pandorus. He is the best hero that can encounter Candy. I will not ask you to enhance them to full level like a um, hundred percent talent and a hundred percent prayer. No, no, it, it's not needed. Like here, two dots, and even Candy, she's not yet ready. Um, three dots, but I will just make them let's say prepared to be working like i will not use them basically in the main team and so on i will just keep them for a second or third team they are like available in the in the brawl shop easy to get and you can enhance them easily so it, you will not lose anything if you kind of like raise their stars awaken them even without diamonds like Every day the 3x sweep it will, it will do. That's it. Even though if you can um, in, like um, speed up their awakening process, that will be better for you to use them because everyone is using them. But anyway, um, since everyone right now is using candy in his defense, I guess... It would be nice if you can start raising Pandorus to encounter Candy. And if you don't have both of them, you can start getting them. It's never too late, you know. And if you are thinking to add Pandorus, that's an important point. If you are thinking to add Pandorus in your main team, I don't advise that. Because let me tell you something. I've been playing this game since a long time. And be sure that any hero which bomb suddenly like a balloon or like um, like this hero will be blown up and like it will be very common among all the players. Be sure that there will be a period of time which this balloon will blow and um, it will be nothing. Like Lotus. At some point, the top players were using Lotus because she was very strong. It was a balloon and it blew. Now, the same, I expect the same for Candy and Pandorus. If, there's, if, if the same didn't happen to them, then at least they will release some legendary hero which must be attached to them so they can work well. That's the mechanism. So basically, keep them ready. So if they will keep their performance for a long time, you have them. If they didn't, then you didn't lose anything. They are free heroes anyway. And um, that's it. That's my advice for you. So um, click like, and um, if you are interested in this video, recommend it to your friends. 
and you can watch the video of Candy. I showed which teams can work with her um, in a previous video before. And um, that's all. You can write in the comments which kind of videos you want to see, and um, you can tell me your thoughts about Candy and Pandarus. Will this be the trend for a long time? I expect it to be the trend for kind of long time because um, they are working well, honestly. But tell me your thoughts. I would like to know. And that's all. Um, thank you for watching.